Okie dokie everybody, back for another video about FFmpeg. Today we're going to be talking about how to use kernel mode setting, which I finally figured out. If you remember from last time, I was getting this weird error. Uh, pipe invalid argument, no handle set for frame buffer. So to be able to access DRM, you're going to either need to run kernel mode setting uh, like FFmpeg with kernel mode setting as root, so with sudo or do as, or give it access to cap sys admin. So you'd run either sudo or do as set cap, cap sys admin plus ep, uh, and then you would run the path to your FFmpeg. If you don't know, you could just run, run which FFmpeg to get this path. And once you've done that, you should be able to just run FFmpeg with the kernel mode setting settings as you see them online without root and everything should work fine because it'll be hard to grab streams and everything if you run it as root. So after I figured that out I was able to set up a screenshot with kernel mode setting so you only need video and filter threads because you don't have any audio or complex filters and then you have to set the device for kernel mode settings, so it would be your graphics card, so it's going to be under dev DRI, and for me it's card zero. It's not going to be the render or whatever that you would use for VAPI, that would just be what you call for VAPI, the device is going to be a card with some kind of number. Uh, input is kernel mode setting grab, uh, you're going to increase the thread queue, personally for me mine blocks if I don't increase the thread queue, and then input and dash for pipe and then you're going to have your video filter be hardware map and then derive device vappy and hardware download uh, to download a single frame uh, and then the format we're going to need to download it and then here we set size after downloading the frame if you try to set it with vappy set size I haven't gotten that to work yet and then the one frame and the video Kodak for the one frame and you could also just grab the actual video, all the same settings here, except you can then scale with VAPI in the video filter to whatever your screen size is or even beyond, but it probably won't properly scale and look well if it's not supported by your screen. And then your video codec and everything. And you can do the same with adding some kind of sound. Let's go to Jack because Jack is nicer. Uh, call Jack, you would give your Jack client some kind of name, here I've given mine FFmpeg, and you can see over in uh, QP gra WGraph that then you get a client named FFmpeg that you can connect to your, as your Jack audio device, you can connect things to, I have my microphone here connected to my Jack audio device, uh, you can give it an audio ZMQ filter like I've done here, so you can control the volume through ZMQ, all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's screencasting with kernel mode setting. I'm probably going to give this video some kind of catchy name like uh, you know, better, faster kernel mode uh, screen capture with kernel mode set grab on X and Wayland since Wayland's getting so popular and since this takes up less resources uh, this is actually using X11 grab right now so you see it's using 1 gig and XORG is coming up at 1 gig and if I were to use uh, KMS grab this would probably be at like you know 300 to 500 megabytes for each of them uh, X wouldn't even be on here because I wouldn't be using X grab. I'd be using, you know, kernel mode setting grab straight from Vappy. Speaking of which, I am currently using Vappy in all of these. Uh, so if you don't have Vappy, then uh, just use a different codec that doesn't use Vappy. I'm not sure you'd have to remove the scale with Vappy. You might have to remove the scale with Vappy, download it, and do stuff like I did in the uh, screenshot. Uh, you can play around with that. I haven't gotten overlays to work with kernel mode setting yet. Um, there is 
there is a uh, an overlay vappy option but it doesn't support it seems like the raw video from video for Linux and I haven't been able to either download the kernel mode setting and map it to a uh, an overlay and then re-upload it and I haven't been able to do anything like you'd see here with the LUT where I have it and I give it I call a video stream I map the LUT to a video stream and then I give it a name here B and then I take the mapped video stream 0 and overlay it with B now that I've given it a name so I could technically give my first overlay a name and like hardware upload it and all that stuff and play around with the format and then give my overlaid video the raw video a name so if I was at the kernel mode setting thing like before I'd have the hardware map and I would put this to A and I would take my overlaid video and I would I guess format it NV12 as well and then do the overlay and then upload it at the end but yeah I'm not sure I haven't gotten it to work yet I keep getting overlay mismatches so I'm just not sure if I'm gonna be able to get that to work if you have two graphics cards you might be able to get it to work by having your kernel mode setting grab on one and then let's say you have like an integrated graphics card you could then have your camera give it a vappy device and upload your camera stream to your other graphics card by initially two separate va initializing two separate ma vappy devices and mapping them to each stream and that might work because then they'd both be going to the separate graphics cards because I think you only have one stream to one device for a hardware map and then you'd be able to have them both be in the form in a similar format and overlay it that way but I'm just not sure if it's either gonna work on my system or if it's possible yet with Vappy uh, in the comments to this video I will leave a link to the or read the comments or description I'll leave a link to the uh, the patch for the overlay of Appy if anyone wants to see it and see if they can't figure out how to get it to work because that would be awesome and if anyone does take a look at that you know feel free to message me about it because I would love to get that working so I can overlay with kernel mode setting and Vappy without having to do any kind of weird thing like you know put MPV and then put my put my video camera stream in MPV and load it that way think that's everything um, again to recap to get kernel mode setting to work you're gonna run this and then you can call it normally if you want to be able to work with the kernel mode setting video in normal filters you need to download it and if you want to work with things with Vappy you're gonna need to upload it so kind of get used to that and get used to how video filters work um, you're going to need to use a complex filter for any kind of overlaying or anything like that so make sure and if you switch from a video filter or an audio filter to a complex filter don't forget to add filter complex not just filter threads so you can have more control over multi-threading because you don't really need to waste your cpu resources with enabling multi-threading if you're going to be using your graphics card for most of the processing which is why you'll see I have every time I'm using Vappy I just set everything to one thread I don't want any kind of stream taking more than one thread if I'm going to be using my hardware acceleration because it's just going to waste resources unnecessarily cool, and that's it guys uh, that's my video on kernel FFmpeg kernel mode setting with Vappy. This is specifically for AMD, so if you have NVIDIA cards, uh, you're going to have to change some of the formats and names, but there's plenty of stuff online with that. So here you go. This works in Wayland and X, guys. Get out there and enjoy. Enjoy kernel mode setting and anything you do with FFmpeg.